What up? <laughs> this is garage sale day two, Route 40 yard sale. Zane, well, I'm from Zanesville, but stretches from Ohio to who knows where to who knows where. Anyways, here we go. Alright, this was like four bucks. It's a weed guitar. Good whammy bar. This was a dollar or something. It's a Fender Frontman guitar. I think they're pretty popular. Got it for two. Whammy bar screwed up. This button doesn't move. I'll work with it. This was a good find. I've sold something like this. It's a typewriter, I believe. It's a brother. Anything brother, look out for. It's a hundred dollar piece for five bucks. All this stuff right here you see in these two boxes was $23. It was a name your price. Whatever you want. Any donation, take whatever you want kind of deal. So I took all these CB radios. Probably like 10 of them. I'll see how that, I should get pretty good. I got this Texas Instruments computer. Looks pretty nice. It might work, might not. Might just sell it as is. Okay, like 50 bucks, free ship. The games, they're just random games. They're kind of junky. But I did find Battle for Bikini Bottom. It's pretty scratched up, but that's what the JFJ Easy Pro is for. Still haven't used it. Still stacking up games to this day. God, I just, I don't know. I'm so worried about wasting a lot of stuff at once that I haven't even used it, and I'm just stacking the games that need resurfacing until I get a good bit, and then eventually I'll make a review. So yeah, just some junk games. Got a like Xbox controller, which is sweet. Remembers these bad boys, not the crazy big ones that never fit in your hand as a kid, but got that. <laughs> this this sucker, dude. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I want to keep this, but here's what I got for 125. Um, let me see here. I got that. This. I don't even know how much that's worth, but it has to be at least 100 bucks by itself. This is about 100 bucks free ship. This is about 100 bucks free ship. Why do I always do that? Free ship. It's some old. Uh, forget the brand of it. Um, Seal. Seal. This is Roland, which is a great brand. It's like an old, uh, puts it into like a cassette floppy disk for recordings. It's really sweet. Uh, I might try to use it, but I don't have anything to play them out of. Got a set of golf clubs and all this stuff. Golf clubs. I, funny story. My buddy's been wanting me to go golf and had a blast. Went for five hours straight. Talk about being tired. I was done after hole nine, but I made it, so it was cool. And I did pretty good. Just, Natural happy. I mean, I watched so much Happy Gilmore growing up that you kind of pick things up. Uh, it's 125. I can make 100 each after before fees and shipping. So I'll at least make my money back. Keep that amp because she's a beaut. Let's be honest. I didn't even check it out yet. Look at this. You can you can look at all these knobs. You can do whatever you want. You can probably like who knows? Make it sound like a spaceship. I don't know. It has a tuner. What? Effects. What are all these effects? Reverb, chorus, flange, tremolo, vibrato, delay. Oh my gosh! I didn't even know it did any of that. Full season of Dexter paid seven bucks. Full complete series. Let me rephrase that. Worth about thirty to forty. Pack and pack and play. Uh, Namco plug and play, not pack and play. Dollar, I think. Got Peter Parker here missing a hand I didn't notice till now for a dollar. I want to show you guys this. These are like some hand painted barnyard toys. I got them for like a dollar. I'm gonna check those out later. Got Hot Wheels for two, sealed. Who cares? They're not anything crazy. I didn't see any treasure hunts, but these toys are all vintage. I got this whole thing for 15. The thing that I really want to keep is this Mario from Nintendo. He's the fat Mario that ate the little, little cloud there. Not cloud. Uh, I forget what he eats for that. Like a balloon or something. Yeah, it's 1989 Nintendo of America. Got a couple Mario things. I got a Goomba in here somewhere. And I got a couple little Luigi's. Tell me that isn't awesome. I mean, this one's like kind of cheap plastic, but he's definitely rubbery. I forget. I wanted to say that was He-Man, but... I don't think it is. I can't remember where he's from. There's a lot of people in here that look familiar. That I just can't forget. Everybody knows this guy though. Just tons of vintage toys. Um, 
I want to find the Goomba. Here it is. 1989 Nintendo of America. It might be a Burger King toy. Some of these were, but really, I'm not even mad if it is because it looks awesome. And it's just straight energy. Energy. Oh my gosh, I'm too tired to be on YouTube right now. Another little. I forget what this guy's called, honestly. I don't know. I don't even want to go there. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Got the. What is this? Dinosaurs or whatever. Anyways, guys. I don't think there's anything else. I got a couple uh, DVD players, like portable DVD players for like, and I buy remotes for 10 bucks. I always buy remotes. Love them, man. If you can find anything kind of recent or a little older that's Sony or LG or that could be used on a modern TV, buy it. You can get like 10 bucks, for five bucks a piece. I think that's a good deal. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I think the best day is coming up. Uh, the third day. I, I think that sale was great. I spent like um, probably 200 bucks. Yeah, about 200 bucks on everything. Look to double it easy. Um, yeah. So, day three, I'm about to record that now because I'm going to set these videos in order. Some random crap in my house. Um,. Just keep watching out for my videos. I'm gonna try to upload more of my editing software. I always say this, but it's really crappy. So, just keep checking out my videos, guys. Show me some love, comments, likes, all that stuff, man. Peace.